Hello, dear ones. Father Peter John here, coming to you from All Saints Orthodox Church, Bloomington, Indiana. Christ is in our midst. Continuing on the theme of saints who loved and cared for the poor, I wanted to talk to you today about St. John the Merciful, Patriarch of Alexandria. He was born in Cyprus in the 7th century and was a pious young man. He was the son of a wealthy dignitary, and um, in his uh, late teens, he married and had children. However, tragically, both his wife and his children died. And so St. John decided to go and to live in a monastery and become a monk. He was so well known because of his kindness, of his asceticism, his fasting, uh, his gentleness, and his prayerfulness, that when the Patriarchal See of Alexandria became vacant, all of the clergy and even the Emperor Heraclius himself uh, urged St. John to become the Patriarch of Alexandria. Well, he accepted, and um, aside from doing the other things that patriarchs do, battling heresies and um, organizing his see, etc., he determined that his most important task as patriarch was to care for the poor and the needy. And so, the first thing he did was compiled a list of those who were poor in the city of Alexandria. The list contained 7,000 family names. And so, St. John determined that the church was going to support these families. And that's what they did. They, uh, the church gave these families, 7,000 families, uh, money and means every week in order to uh, be able to care for themselves. Secondly, on Wednesdays and Fridays, he would go out in front of the church and people would come to him whether they had arguments to be settled or they were just suffering from a grievous situation or if they needed money and food, they would come to him and every Wednesday and Friday people knew that he was there and that he would be willing to uh, talk to them, to hear their cases, and to uh, help wherever he could. Three days a week he visited hospitals and went and cared for those who were in illness and prayed with them. When he went out sometimes, there are some, some humorous stories. I'm going to tell you one now. Um, when he went out, sometimes he would come across beggars who would ask him for help. And he always had his kind of his staff with him, his helpers, and they carried the money. And so uh, uh, one day he comes across this certain beggar, and uh, the beggar asks for help. And St. John orders that he be given six silver coins. So they give him the six silver coins, and the beggar is grateful and he leaves. But what he does is he actually runs up the street and he changes his clothes and he gets comes back to St. John and asks him for alms again. And so St. John tells the helpers, the stewards, to give him six silver coins, which they do. Beggar is happy and he leaves. He actually goes and runs up the street and puts on a different outfit. I don't know where he was carrying the outfits, but it's a great story. He gets the third outfit on and he comes to St. John and he asks for help. And St. John uh, is about to help him when the stewards start trying to drive the man away. They say, we know who you are. And St. John says, wait. He says, give him 12 silver coins. And the, the stewards are astounded. They, what are you doing? You know. And he, said, he leans over and he whispers and he says to them, what if this is Jesus trying to put me to the test? Give him the 12 coins. And so they give him the 12 coins and send him on his way. This was just the kind of person St. John was. He didn't believe that the church should have these massive bank accounts. Uh, he believed that the church should care for those who are in need. He had a wonderful, wonderful Christ-like spirit in that way. Um, St. John then, he was invited toward the end of his life to come and visit the emperor. And so he went on a journey and he was going to Constantinople from Alexandria by ship to go and visit the emperor. But while he was on the ship, he fell asleep and he had a dream. And in the dream, this beautiful man dressed in resplendent garb um, came to him and said, The king of kings is summoning you. And so St. John got a hold of the, the captain of the ship and said, I want you to sail to Cyprus. 
And so they skipped Constantinople and went straight to Cyprus where St. John had been born and grew up. And St. John got off the boat and he went and he closed his eyes and fell asleep in the Lord. A truly beautiful story, a, a very peaceful and wonderful, painless ending uh, for a man who lived such a glorious life, caring for everyone he came into contact with. Thanks be to God. O Lord, through the prayers of St. John the Merciful, Patriarch of Alexandria, grant us all to have a heart for those in need. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be.